Rajiv Gandhi went to Wellam Boys School in Dehradun for some time but soon he was enrolled into the elite Dune School located in the foothills of the Himalayas. Later, his younger brother Sanjay Gandhi was also sent to this school where the two completed their early education together. Rajiv Gandhi was a pilot before he had joined politics and hardly showed interest in following the footsteps of his mother, Indira Gandhi, and grandfather, Jawaharlal Nehru. Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India when he was 40. He became the youngest Prime Minister of the country and sworn in on October 31, 1984, the same day his mother was assassinated by her own bodyguards. In the childhood Rajiv Gandhi was shy and introvert and used to do paintings. As opposed his younger brother Sanjay Gandhi was extrovert. This difference in personalities were apparent during adulthood also as Rajiv Gandhi chose to remain away from limelight of Indian politics while Sanjay Gandhi claimed unofficial powerful position in central administration. On the same day of death of his mother Indira Gandhi he was made Prime Minister by the then President Zail Singh and soon declared general elections as the tenure of past government was almost complete. He won with a landslide victory, the biggest one in the history of India. After completing his A levels in London, Rajiv Gandhi studied engineering at Trinity College in Cambridge. However, after studying there for three years, he did not obtain a degree. He then went on to study mechanical engineering at Imperial College London but did not complete his studies there either. After his death, his wife, Sonia Gandhi came out with the book, Rajiv's World, Photographs by Rajiv Gandhi. The book has photographs clicked by Rajiv over four decades and spans categories such as nature, wildlife and portraits. Rajiv Gandhi was given the title of Mr. Clean upon his entry into politics as his lack of prior association with the sector had left his image so untarnished that the opposition could seldom find something about him to criticize. His birth anniversary is observed annually as Sadbhavana Dawas, or Harmony Day. On this day, the message of unity, compassion, tolerance and brotherhood is propagated. Rajiv Gandhi contributed greatly to the development of the country. He announced a national policy on education in 1986 to modernize and expand higher education programs across India. He founded a central government-based institution namely Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalay system in 1986 for the upliftment of the rural section of the society providing them free residential education from 6th till 12th class. Due to his efforts, MTNL established in 1986 and also created public call offices PCOs, for spreading telephones in rural areas. Rajiv Gandhi sent Indian peacekeeping force to Sri Lanka to help them fight the Tamil insurgents to antagonize LTTE. The Indo-Sri Lanka Peace Accord was signed by Rajiv Gandhi and the Sri Lankan President J.R.J. Wardeen, in Colombo on 29 July 1987. Prior to sending the Peace Army, LTTE Chief V. Prabhakaran came to meet Rajiv Gandhi in Delhi. Rajiv Gandhi was strict with him. Since then he had been waiting for an opportunity. Rajiv Gandhi was nicknamed Mr. Clean because of his fight against corruption. In post-1990, he introduced measures for reducing license Raj allowing businesses and individuals to purchase capital, consumer goods, and import without bureaucratic restrictions. He introduced the age of voting rights as 18 and also included Panchayati Raj. He strongly encouraged youth power and said that the development of the country depends only on the awareness of the youth of the country. That's why Jawahar Rizgar Yojana was started to give jobs to the youth. 